Good evening everybody and a very warm welcome to Barringer and Districts and I have a layout update for you. Um, it's been a little while in coming um, but in truth I haven't been too well and um, so basically I decided to cheer myself up and do some work on the railway um, since I had some time um, on my hands today. So uh, let me take you through what I've been up to and what I've been up to the last few days to get to the point of where I am today. So here we are um, at the Fiddle Yard end and um, I've been doing some tidying up in here because I've needed to do some non-related railway work in order to get to the railway related work and I'll show you that shortly. Um, basically um, this is a piece of moulding that I have here and um, I've been sort of doing all of this around my um, sort of cabinet area, fill yard area. Um, but the thing is, I've added some more shelving in and around this area, which is non-railway related. But the thing being is that I wanted to do that first because basically underneath the railway was going to go. So that's why, um, if I just sort of take you around, um, you can sort of see that I've sort of added this shelf up here. But directly underneath you have the fill yard so obviously I couldn't really carry on with the fill yard um, too much more without sorting that shelf it out so I've put that shelf in but what what's now happened is I've now extended the fill yard out and as you can see um, I have a little selection of DMUs parked up in the fill yard um, from left to right um, we have the Arriva trains 158 um, next to that is the 156 um, Super Sprinter and that's a Lima version um, and then next to that is the class 108 in the network southeast livery and next to that is the class 150 in the Arriva trains livery um, I haven't finished it yet because I'm thinking that there's going to be at least another two possibly three um, tracks to go in here um, to feed into that point there so that will give me some more sidings for some more DMUs. Um, like I said before, if, this, if if it gets too short, I'll use one of them because I've got my Reva Trains 153 and also my parcels unit. So if they end up being single car units, I could sort of stick them here. Um, or what I can do is actually put those single units on the upper level when I get around to doing it, which is something I need to be doing for fairly soon, which is going to go in that corner over there and then come back up basically almost actually following the line on which this moulding is actually on and then after we can start working on the top level then but at least in the meantime it just means that some more of my rolling stock um, is getting put out and actually can be available for use as opposed to just sitting and gathering dust in boxes and things like that well Sorry, I should say just sitting in boxes, really, not gathering dust, because I'll be gathering dust sitting out here. Um, but I like the idea of my little Diddy DMUs all parked up here, out of the way, ready to go. Um, because I've got four of them here. Um, there is another two DMUs, which is the EPB and... Um, what was the other one? Yeah, oh yes, the other blue-grey um, 108. That's parked up at Barringer Station. So there's a couple more sidings there for those. Um, so I, I'm kind of thinking that these two here, the 156 and the 158, the two longer of the two DMUs, and they'll probably be used on the more wood services and stuff like that. And these smaller ones, which can negotiate the more trickier and tighter curves, will probably go up to New Shot and Offord on the Hill and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I've taken both of these up there, and they seem to go okay. But Ideally, they'd probably just go as far as more wooden back. But at least they've got a home now, and they could just sit there. Um, so what I'm going to do now, well, we've currently got four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then with another three here will be 11, plus another two on the end will probably be about 13 in total. 13 storage sidings in total, which is one of the reasons why I haven't done any numbering on the end yet. Because until I finish the track work, um, that's when I can start um, numbering everything and knowing exactly where to put it to make sure that all the numbers in there are in the correct positions and correctly placed and finalise all the track work. Um, so that's pretty much all that I've done 
Um, it's not terribly a huge amount in all fairness, but um, it's progress and um, so that's, that's always a good thing. And also it just means that I can, I've now got more and more of an opportunity to run trains without having to keep digging them out of boxes and that's, that's something that I really want to kind of do because if they get left in boxes I'll just stay left in boxes because I can't be bothered to take them out and run them. So it's one of the reasons why I kind of want them as much of the stock out as possible so it can just be used. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much the sum of what I've been up to. So if I just sort of take it, it sort of fans out. It is going to fan out some more. So it all comes in and feeds into this one line here. And there's an isolating point here. So pretty much I can park a train up until this point even with all these sidings at the end full and still sort of use this bit here as another sort of short siding for whatever. Um, so it's all coming along, it's all working out nicely, it's nice to see that the trains are sort of coming out and they're being parked up and they're ready to go. They've all been spaced out well enough and I'm happy with the work done so far. Um, yeah, and hopefully in the not too distant future I'll have the lower level completed um, totally and then I can start working out, um, well start making a start on the upper level because that's where all the locomotives are going to be parked up. So they're all going to be sitting just sort of like above here. Um, so yeah, and will just make the most of all the space that I have. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment and subscribe as always. And um, I guess I will speak to you all soon once I have a further update. And I'll leave you with a final shot of all my Diddy DMUs all parked up. I have to say, the DMUs and the EMUs are probably my favourite um, to run just because of the simplicity of them. Um, if you just want a quick play, it's just easy to use rather than having to do shunting and, and all the rest of it. So, and messing around with uncoupling and all the rest of it. So, I do like my DMUs, as you can probably tell, and it suits my layout really, really well. So, it's a nice little mixture of liveries here, actually. So, um, yeah, I will speak to you soon once I have more to um, offer you. So, bye for now.